One of my favorite video tools is Envato Market. Everything you need for your next creative project. Check out some of my favorite After Effects templates in my description box below. Hey everybody, and welcome to lesson three of this After Effects motion graphics course here on my YouTube channel. If you're just finding this video, I encourage you to go back and watch from lesson one so your project files are up to date. And by the end of this course, you'll know how to create your own motion graphics templates in After Effects. I've also included a link in the description box below to download the project files. All right, so let's get into it. Here in our composition, we have this zoom and rotating text. In the first lesson, you learned how to make the rectangle auto resize to the size of text. And in the second lesson, you learned how to add color controls here in the essential graphics panel. So when you select new colors, it'll update in the composition for you. But now we want to be able to add position and scale controls to the panel and also add a checkbox control so users can have the option to turn off the drop shadow if they want. So first let's create a slider control to control the size of this entire graphic. Go to effects and presets and search for slider control and drag and drop it onto the expressions controls layer. And now let's rename this to be scale. Next, we're gonna toggle open the animation title one comp to transform. And you will see that if I try and drag the scale parameter here into the essential graphics panel, you will get a warning that says it's not yet supported. So what we have to do is hold the alt option key and click on the stopwatch next to scale to activate expressions. Now we need to drag the scale pick whip here to connect to the slider control. Now let's drag and drop the slider control into the essential graphics panel and let's rename it scale here. And now if we type in 100 here, the rectangle will appear again. And if we move the slider, you will see that we can make it smaller or bigger. And you can also edit the range here. So if we want the minimum to size it down to be zero, let's leave that. But let's increase the maximum to 150. So people who use this motion graphics template have the freedom of controlling it to be a little bit above what we originally scaled it at. Now on to position, same as scale. When we try and drag position under the transform tools into the essential graphics panel, it will not work. So I'll show you a workaround. Position behaves a bit differently than scale because there's an X axis for moving horizontally and a Y axis to move vertically. So to control these axes, we're actually going to search for an effect called separate XYZ position. And then we're going to drag it onto the animation title one comp here in the master comp. Now let's drag and drop the X and Y together and drop it into the essential graphics panel. And now we can move them and you can see the entire graphic moves position when we move those sliders. But to be more precise, let's edit the X range to be negative 1920 to 1920 because that's the horizontal pixel range of this composition. And for the Y range, let's make it negative 1080 to 1080 as that's the span of our vertical composition because we have a 1920 by 1080 comp. And there's one other little trick I wanna show you here. So what if you were able to turn off the drop shadow on the rectangle? Now this is where the checkbox controls come in. So go to effects and presets and search for checkbox controls. Let's drag and drop it on the expression controls layer and let's rename it to drop shadow. Now let's move the master comp up to be next to effects controls so we have more space to see the other compositions. And then let's go to title one comp and toggle down to the shape layers effects where we will find the drop shadow that's currently behind the rectangle. So let's click alt on the keyboard and let's click the opacity controls stopwatch. And now we can move the pick whip of the opacity of the drop shadow to the checkbox controls in the master comp. But that's not all. We actually have to tell this layer that when the checkbox is off, we want the opacity of the drop shadow to be zero, so it's gone. But when the checkbox is on, we want the opacity to be 100, so it's visible. So to do this, we need to add a little simple equation times 100 to the end of this expression. Now let's drag the drop shadow checkbox into the essential graphics panel and we'll rename it drop shadow. And now when we turn the checkbox on, the shadow appears and when we turn it off, it turns off. 
You can also add in additional drop shadow parameters if you want to further customize. For example, if you drag the distance and softness of the drop shadow into the panel, you can control how far the shadow lies from the rectangle and how soft and spread out the shadow is, which is pretty awesome. If you want to control the angle of the direction of the shadow, you will also need to add another slider control to the expression controls layer in master comp. Let's rename it to shadow angle and let's hit alt key on the stopwatch next to direction. And then you're getting the hang of this. We have to pick whip it to the slider control. And now let's drop this slider into the panel and let's rename it direction. And so now we can edit this to actually have 360 because 360 is a full rotation. So now that range is edited and now we can control the angle of the shadow just by moving that slider. So in conclusion here, the idea is that certain parameters like scale and position, you cannot drag into the panel, but you can use a slider and checkbox controls to compensate for that. So that's all for this week. I hope this video helped you out. And next week, I'll have the last lesson of the series where I will teach you how to add another motion title into this same panel and then export it as a motion graphics template that you can use in Premiere Pro. And now I have a question for you. How are you going to start using slider and checkbox controls in your After Effects projects? let me know in a comment below. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if this video helped you out, head over to patreon.com slash premiergal to leave me a monthly tip. Thanks again for watching. Keep creating better videos and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.